Are you curious about how one man was able to revolutionize the trading industry and become one of the richest people in the world? Look no further than Jim Simons, the mathematician who cracked Wall Street. Jim Simons was not always a household name. He grew up in a middle-class family and developed a passion for mathematics and science at a young age. After earning a PhD in mathematics from UC Berkeley, he began his career as a professor at MIT and Harvard. The birth of Renaissance Technologies. In 1982, Simons founded Renaissance Technologies, a hedge fund that would change the game for the trading industry. He assembled a team of mathematicians, computer scientists, and physicists to develop a new approach to trading that relied on complex algorithms and data analysis. The Medallion Fund. Simon's success was largely attributed to the Medallion Fund, the company's flagship fund. From 1988 to 2018, it consistently outperformed the market, producing a 66% return on investment every year. How was this possible? One of the best performing hedge funds in history was Jim Simon's Renaissance Technologies. With more than $70 billion in assets under management, it was established in 1982 and has since grown to become one of the biggest hedge funds in the world. The success of Renaissance Technologies can be attributed in part to their use of sophisticated algorithms and data analysis. They were able to make trades with extraordinary accuracy because they were able to identify patterns in market data that other people were unable to see. They trained their algorithms using enormous amounts of data, which gave them the advantage over others in identifying trends and entering trades. Their distinct method of risk management was another factor that contributed to their success. They maintained their profitability, even during market downturns, because they thought small risks could be taken while avoiding big losses. Long-term results showed that this approach was successful as their flagship fund, the Medallion Fund, generated an average annual return of 66% from 1988 to 2018. The Medallion Fund, a highly successful investment vehicle, was only accessible to Renaissance employees. It produced $55 billion in profits for its investors between 1994 and 2014, with Jim Simons, the fund's founder, receiving $36 billion of those profits. The algorithms and risk management techniques used by Renaissance Technologies were not the only factors in their success. To gain an advantage in the market, they also took advantage of legal weaknesses and political connections. For instance, they used regulatory loopholes to avoid scrutiny and lobbied the government to alter tax laws in their favor. It is undeniable that Renaissance Technologies was very successful despite the controversy surrounding its business practices. Jim Simons is one of the wealthiest people in the world, according to estimates of his net worth, which is over $23 billion. Simons received the Financial Engineer of the Year Award from the International Association of Financial Engineers in 2006. He was predicted to have made $2.6 billion in personal earnings in 2020, $2.8 billion in 2007, $1.7 billion in 2006, $1.5 billion in 2005, the highest pay among hedge fund managers that year, and $670 million in 2004. Simons announced his retirement from Renaissance on October 10th, 2009, but he would stay on as non-executive chairman until that date. Finally, Jim Simons Hedge Fund, Renaissance Technologies, revolutionized the trading industry by utilizing data analysis, risk management, and political connections. Numerous people have been motivated to pursue similar careers by their success, and Jim Simons will continue to have an impact on the financial industry for a very long time. The Hidden Truths and Secrets Simon's success was largely attributed to his aptitude for spotting patterns in market data that others missed. I started trading, and it went very well. Uh, I made quite a lot of money uh, with, with pure luck. I mean, I think it was pure luck. It certainly wasn't mathematical modeling. But in looking at the data, after a while, I realized, hey, there's looks like there's some structure here. And I hired a few mathematicians, and we started trying to make some models, just the kind of thing we did back uh, at IDA. You, you design an algorithm, you test it out on a computer, does it work, doesn't it work, and so on. Renaissance Technologies trained their algorithms with enormous amounts of data, which gave them the ability to identify trends and execute trades with astounding precision. Renaissance Technologies was able to avoid paying more than $6 billion in taxes by disguising its day-to-day -day stock trades as long-term investments, said Sen John McCain, 
R. Eras, the committee's ranking Republican, in his opening statement. An article published in the New York Times in 2015 said that Simons was involved in one of the biggest tax battles of the year, with Renaissance Technologies being under review by the IRS over a loophole that saved their fund an estimated $6.8 billion in taxes over roughly a decade. In September 2021, it was announced that Simons and his colleagues would pay billions of dollars in back taxes, interest and penalties to resolve the dispute, one of the biggest in IRS history. Controversies According to the Wall Street Journal in May 2009, Simons was questioned by investors on the dramatic performance gap of Renaissance Technologies portfolios. The Medallion Fund, which has been available exclusively to current and past employees and their families, surged 80% in 2008 despite hefty fees. The Renaissance Institutional Equities Fund, REIF, owned by outsiders, lost money in both 2008 and 2009. REIF declined 16% in 2008. On July 22, 2014, Simons was subject to bipartisan condemnation by the U.S. Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations for the Use of Complex Basket Options to Shield Day-to-Day -day Trading, usually subject to higher ordinary income tax rates, as long-term capital gains. Renaissance Technologies was able to avoid paying more than $6 billion in taxes by disguising its day-to-day -day stock trades as long-term investments, said Sen. John McCain, R. Arizal the committee's ranking Republican, in his opening statement. An article published in the New York Times in 2015 said that Simons was involved in one of the biggest tax battles of the year, with Renaissance Technologies being under review by the IRS over a loophole that saved their fund an estimated $6.8 billion in taxes over roughly a decade. In September 2021, it was announced that Simons and his colleagues would pay billions of dollars in back taxes, interest and penalties to resolve the dispute one of the biggest in IRS history. The Legacy of Jim Simons Jim Simons' impact on the trading industry cannot be overstated. His approach to trading has inspired countless others to use data and algorithms to gain an edge in the market. He has also been a major philanthropist, donating billions to scientific research and education. Jim Simons' story is a fascinating one, full of hidden truths and secrets. His success is a testament to the power of data analysis and risk management. Whether you're an aspiring trader or just curious about the world of finance, there is much to learn from his story. Let us know in the comments below. Another story down, so many more to go. See you next time on Storytelling Odds.